Cindy, Miles, uh, Daryl Har Harrell's aunt uh, with us on the phone. We've also got uh, Trinity and Tanya with us. Trinity, you know, this, we saw in the Jody Arias case where Jody Arias throws all these accusations and some of the jurors believe some of that stuff. And, and that's what ended up, at least at the first trial, saving her life. What impact, though, do you think it has here on the guilty, not guilty aspect of what's taking place first? Well, I think part of it's going to come down, as you know, most trials do, they need a credibility. And, and looking at some of the stories that she told and seeing if you can back them up. Are there police reports? Are there 911 calls? Are there medical records that say that she did have a hit, you know, to the eye? Can you verify? Did she tell, you know, a nurse or somebody how gonna that need, happened? She's going to need more than just more than just her words saying this happened. Her because, yeah. it, you know, I think most people can't really comprehend killing someone with a hammer in your own bed. I mean, I just don't think most people can comprehend that. So. Um, I think she's going to have to do a, a better job than just, you know, saying, this is why I did it. Yeah, yeah. Cindy, thanks yeah. so much for joining us. And um, mm -hmm. really, our, our, our sympathies to you and your family. I know this is, uh, this is difficult. Anytime you guys see me, just give me a call. We will do that, Cindy. Thanks so much. All right. We have an intense police altercation that we're going to show you. Officers confront a student who was recording some arrests. They yell at him, curse at him, but... The cameraman does, says, you know, I did nothing wrong here. So who's right in this case? I'll show you the whole video so you can decide.